today as you can see we're not playing anything because I'm this side of the camera and not behind it <laughs> uh, this is a pickups video it's a big one this and it's hot yeah really hot um, if you haven't got long save this one for later we've got all sorts here we've got uh, 8 bit stuff uh, PlayStation got a couple of boxes from friends some gifts eBay purchases some drunk eBay purchases thanks again Stu you've done me again with that bloody TV from behind you yeah uh, some uh, Dreamcast a lot of Sega here some Dreamcast from my friend Mark Capewell I really hope I pronounced that right this time because <laughs> I always get it wrong <laughs> Yeah, uh, I've been and raided this Dreamcast collection again. So I've got some of that to go through. eBay, charity shops, um, like I said, a couple of boxes. So we're going to start old and going to go no wish and we'll save Mark's stuff to last. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, first thing, first thing's a piece of paper. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we've got the BBC running in the background. Uh, and I just want to shout out to uh, Retro Clinic. Um, I don't know if you can see here or not, this is the SD card reader for the BBC. Basically allows you to play all the games. I purchased this uh, from them three or four weeks back now. But it's the first chance I've had to uh, sling it in a video anyway. So RetroClinic.com. Uh, they're on the internet. Uh, you get the, uh, the card reader and a chip and uh, an SD card full of games and it's brilliant it's really really clever really easy to install easy to use and uh, you get to play great games like Frost yeah so shout out to them what we got next what we got next not that no. we'll do this eBay purchase bargain um, I watched my friend it's upside down <laughs> uh, Christian play this or attempt to play this on his channel Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it's on the ZX Spectrum, incidentally. Uh, only I couldn't play it because as soon as it started up, it crashed. Um, I read the books, Heroes of the Lance, years back as a kid, and uh, I never played the games. But it got me, it got my interest when I watched his video, and uh, so I put a cheeky bid on, and I won this for one pound ninety. One pound ninety for a thirty-year-old piece of cardboard. Instructions piece of paper and the cassette it's like brand new uh, I think it was even free post and package to be honest yeah bargain right, I'm gonna stack these real tight because we've got loads to get through <laughs> yeah it's gonna be along this one this one I hope you've got a drink I have I've got two <laughs> yeah. what we got next now this is a bit of an odd one I won this for one pound ninety as well platoon Again on the spectrum. Now, I have this already. Here. I've had this for a couple of years. This is Platoon, but this is for the plus three. Um, I don't collect for the plus three. In fact, I've offered this to friends who I know do collect for the plus three. I offer this to Paul Bads, uh, but he's already got it. Uh, uh, I offered it to my friend Andre, but he's already got it. So it just sits on the shelf. Um, but it's not complete. It's not complete it's got the instructions but there should be a music cassette here and uh, a poster and loads of other stuff and I just thought it was a shame they were missing stuff so again I put a cheeky bid on an eBay and I won this for one pound ninety as well I had a good week <laughs> yeah and in this if I can ever open it it has the poster which now lives in there it has the instructions which I don't need. Uh, one of them. The uh, card. And it has the music tape. So for £1.90, I've made a game that's fairly rare, complete. And the only problem is now, is I've made this incomplete. <laughs> and that makes me feel guilty. So I might have to go on eBay again to find another copy, hopefully in a damaged box, so I can make this complete again. And then I won't feel as guilty. <laughs> Collecting's mad. None of it makes sense. It's not rational. Yeah, so I'm really happy to have that complete. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. 
it would probably just stay on the shelf because I, I never part with anything. Uh, but realistically, what I ought to do is I ought to part with it to fund something else. But I, I won't. I won't. Everybody knows that's not going to happen. Yes, yeah, so we'll put that there. We'll put another copy there. What's next? Uh, no, not that. A box. Box. These came. These came from Ewan. Ewan. Donaldson. I hope I've pronounced that right. Um, I don't know if you, if you watched my last video, I mentioned I'm going to attempt to go for a full hit squad set. I know it's virtually impossible. I know chances are it will drive me insane or break me. But I'm going to have a go anyway. Anyway, Ewan got in touch and said he's been trying to complete his set for years. He's five off. Incidentally, I'm going to put his YouTube channel in the links and I'm going to put the five he's missing. If anyone's watching this and they have a spare that he needs, please do get in touch with Ewan. Um, I think he'd be very, very grateful. Yeah. Anyway, so he sent me this box full of tapes. He said he had, because he'd been collecting for a long time, a few hit uh, hit squad doubles. And uh, if I'd want them, I could have them. So he sent me this box and it's been sat here, to be fair, I feel guilty about this. It's been sat here a week and I just haven't had a chance to come down here and waffle. <laughs> It's unopened. Now, I do know what's in here, but I do like to open these. If I can do it without killing myself. I do like to open these on camera. I think it's more fun. So we've got a box full of tapes. <laughs> now, he did tell me that a couple of the boxes are damaged, but I've got spares. I've got spares. So let's see what's in the box. We've got It Squad, Miami Vice. Tell you what, we'll make a stack. We'll make a stack. WEC Le Mans, which is a great racer. Yeah, love this game. Covered it ages back, but it's great fun. We have Total Recall, which is obviously the Arnie film. For those interested, can't beat a bit of Arnie. Total Recall. Ah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one where he goes to Mars, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, where he has the woman's face thing on. <laughs> Another classic. Super hang on. A brilliant racer. Another Arnie. A bit of Predator. I vaguely remember playing this one, but I don't think I had the full game. I think I had it on a demo tape. I remember having to dodge the dodge the enemy laser sight. Remember the predator with the, the triangular laser? Yeah. Or maybe I had the full game, but it was just one of them specky games that was just too hard to play. I can't remember. I played this not long since on the specky, and uh, it's not very good. Hard <laughs> driving. Yeah, the, the poor specky struggled with 3D, and, uh, and this wasn't a good one. But still a great game to have. Run the Gauntlet. I remember this. This was a TV series in the 90s with various quads and uh, ski bikes and stuff. And you basically have to go around tracks and beat people. Another classic. R type. Great shooter and a great conversion. Mikey. Uh, I think, as I remember, basically, the aim of this game is to just, it's in a school, and you have to kiss girls and not get caught by teachers. <laughs> Sounds like me at about 12, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah those days are long behind me. <laughs> oh, this is a, a classic button basher. I remember this. I think it was a film. Combat school, uh, basically. Um, it's like uh, boot camp. Uh, you have loads of mini games like Daily Thompson's Decathlon. You have to bash the keys really fast in time to win each individual event. Classic 3D Star Wars. 3D done right on the spectrum. This plays virtually identical to the uh, original arcade machine. Bit of slowdown occasionally, but still a uh, great conversion. 
Best football game on the ZX Spectrum by none. Match day two. Case is damaged on this one, but we'll sort that out. Now, I don't remember this one. Vindicators. It's like a tank shooter game. Apparently, it's got stunning graphics and quality action. Spectrum cases never lie. Again, <laughs> I have this in my collection so many times. Bubble Bobble. It's a classic. It's a classic on any. Somebody please tell me in the comment section is there a bad version of Bubble Bobble? Because I don't think there is. It is the ultimate arcade game. Just great fun, cute music. It's it, it, easy to pick up, hard to master. Just brilliant. Rastam. Rastam. Uh, how to describe this? Sideways, hack and slash, basically. Hard on the specky. A game I've never played, but often seen. APB. Uh, top down. Looks similar to uh, a game whose name I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, uh, nearly had it then. Spy Hunter. Yeah, it looks similar to Spy Hunter. But uh, it, instead of just racing along, you get given missions to arrest people and pick up litter and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Never played this one. Konami Tennis. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> These are all a long time in the past. And some of them, uh, they just don't, they don't stick. Daily Thompson's Olympic Challenge. That's what I was on about earlier. Proper button bashes. These used to destroy joysticks. <laughs> I can remember ripping the head off a joystick, trying to trying to compete at the sprint. <laughs> uh, match Day. We had the sequel before. Match Day is good, but Match Day Two was better. Um, yeah, definitely the best football games on the Specky, by far. What else we got? Now, do you know, this is a game I've never played and always keep meaning to. It had a sequel. Whizball on the Amiga, on the Spectrum. Not on the Amiga. On the Specky, aren't we? Whizball. Um, I can't remember what the sequel was called. Some kid, kid something. Yeah, but I've, I've never played either. I think I watched somebody play it recently. Was it Douglas? I can't remember. I've slept. I've slept since then. Now these, these aren't, you know, I'll save them till last because there's a couple more in the bottom. Empire Strikes Back, again, 3D vector graphics and 3D done correctly on the Spectrum. Great fun, absolutely brilliant. The sequel to Operation Wolf, which I watched Sega Zombie. Sega Zombie's just uh, picked up the uh, actual arcade machine, awesome. Very jealous, mate. Yeah. Well, this is the sequel. Uh, I think the only difference really was Operation Thunderbolt had two guns, so it was two player. Um, and I think you you spent a lot of time running into the screen rather than scrolling across. Uh, but I could have dreamt that. Yeah, could have dreamt that. What else we got in here? Last hit squad is Driller, another three D game. But again, this is. Uh, it's not vector this, it's solid, solid filled in shaded polygons. Um, I remember really enjoying this, but I've not revisited it since I was a kid. <sighs> Love the clamshells. Love the clamshells. This is War of the Worlds. I've never played this. Um, I keep meaning to try, well, I keep trying and getting outbid on the PlayStation 1 version. Um, I think it's supposed to have really good music based on the uh, LP. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is an uh, a, this is a typey game or or what. I don't. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Another clamshell. Take this out. Split personalities. This is a great game. It's like. Uh, uh, you only remember these if you're my age. 
Um, they were like a plastic tile and you could move the pieces round to make a picture. And basically that's what you do. You have to make the pictures. Uh, you have so much time and the, the, the pieces come out and you've got to rearrange them and make the face. Uh, yeah, good fun, good fun. Double Dragon. Everybody remembers Double Dragon. Great arcade game. Not so good on the specy. I, I remember it being better than it is. I remember just putting a lot of time into this. But I've watched people play it recently. And it looks poor. <laughs> oh, this sounds interesting. No screenshots. No, no screenshots. Eskimo Eddie. Never heard of it. I do like playing something I don't know. <laughs> Through the trap door. Sequel to Trapdoor, which is a great game. I, I don't know a lot about the sequel. I, I don't know if it's the same sort of game as the original. Um, the graphics look similar. Very big sprites. And everybody remembers the cartoon. The clay, mention, ca clay motion cartoon. And then finally, Tribble Trouble. <laughs> Never heard of this one. There's no, no loaded screens. Apparently it's for export only. Mm, Tribble Trouble. Yeah. Trouble with Tribbles? I don't know. I don't know. So all then came from Ewan. Uh, as I said, thanks a lot for that, mate. Um, they will be treasured. They will be reboxed when necessary, cleaned up, and they will go into the collection. And I think that takes me oh, well over halfway to a full set. Um, unfortunately, the, it just gets harder, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, as I said, I will put... Uh, a link to Ewan's channel and uh, I will write down the five he still needs uh, if anybody's if you have a look if anybody's got them sitting about as spares um, please do get in touch with him right second box these come from my good friend Christian to me look David keeper of the fires <laughs> I like that <laughs> yeah yeah um, to do with my job uh, Christian's Christian knows what I do Here. Small Spectrum. <clears throat> Those waiting for the Dreamcast will have to wait a bit longer. Just go make a cup of tea. This isn't your thing. Just go make a cup of tea and come back to me in about 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, we'll just shift that. Right. Hang on. Hang on. I need a wet. That's better. That's better. It's warm in here. It's, uh, I know Stu likes to do this. We're on 24 degrees at the minute. Um, God knows what it's like in your room, mate. <laughs> uh, what we got? We got... I oh, can't believe this is first tape I've pulled out. A crash tape, and it's got Dizzy, uh, Micronaut 1, which is a classic, uh, Mooncrest, and Wanted Monty Mole. I think we're going to do them like that. Are we doing like that? Yeah. And the next we have, excuse me, excuse me, uh, it's a double tape. Um, Odd Job Eddie and Witch Fiend. There's no screenshots. They look like platformers. Yeah. I think I remember Odd Job Eddie think 4D Arcade Adventure um, from Quicksilver again no screenshots I do like I do like the Quicksilver artwork they always look really few they remind me of uh, Isaac uh, Isaac Asimov book covers They're always, they always tend to be 3D type things <laughs> I can see this being a future video. Mr. Wong's Loopy Laundry. Yeah, that sounds right up my street. Let's see if there's any screenshots. No, no screenshots. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to make you suffer that one in the near future. <laughs> uh, another crash tape, Quan Dam. Now, I covered that a while back. It's a really weird shooter. 
really hard to explain. In fact, I couldn't work out what I was doing most of the time. Uh, one Man in His Droid, which is a classic. Robot Messiah, never heard of. And a whole new ball game by Pete Cook, who did that one I mentioned back there, Micronaut. Yeah. So these came with a crash magazine, which I never bought. I bought your Sinclair. And one of Baz Hardin's favourites here, Zeno. It's, uh, it was an arcade machine originally. Uh, it's hard to explain. Like a top-down view, and you have to you have to push the other ships off the sides of the game playing area. It's good fun. It's good fun. Uh, play, it's one of them you pick up and play for ten minutes. Uh, and Pottsworth and Co., uh, which I think it's a fairly rare one now, but it's only a playable demo. Right, so there's not that much on that. Another crash tape. Thunder Jaws, Starburst, Into Africa, and Rockfall 2. Don't know what any of them are. <laughs> oh, apparently it says twice the action, and it's Tank. Plus, a demo of Midnight Resistance. Midnight Resistance is a really good run and, good run and gun game. Uh, I keep meaning to cover that one. It's great. In the, you've got the arcade version, which had like twisty sticks. So you, you twisted the stick to move where you were aiming. But it also came out on the Speccy and the Amiga. And both versions were brilliant in their own way. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a multiplayer video in the future. Um, I'm just not sure I'm going to do the arcade version. I might have to look into that. Uh, another crash tape, Super Soccer, Xanfrax, Delta Wing... And the Key Trilogy Part 3. Don't know any of those. Don't know any of those. Classics on here. Ultimate Warrior. Mountains of Ket. non terraqueous Which I can never pronounce right. And Met Metabolis. Yeah, a little crash tape. <laughs> He's put this one in twice, you bastard. Dizzy. He's just done that to upset me. I know where you live, Christian. <laughs> uh, Light Force, Hyper Raid, Omega, Omega Zone, Swift, and Top Cat. Getting high up again now. Electro Storm by Pss. <laughs> Some really odd companies back in the day. Um, I like the artwork. Can't tell you what the game is because there's no screenshots and I, I don't remember it. Oh, we've got some more Hit Squad. Enduro Racer, which is uh, this was great in the arcade. In the arcade, uh, if you got the full version, it had a full motorbike, and if you reared it up, the bike jumped. It was like a trials bike. Yeah, great game. Bit unforgiving on the specky, I thought. Um, you'd be in the air and you wouldn't be able to stop. Where, you wouldn't be able to choose where you landed, and a lot of the time it, would, it could be very frustrating. Classic platformer, New Zealand story. Everybody loves this. Quite tricky, I find. Um, I don't think I've ever got very far in it. Should we do another pile? Yeah. And another joystick destroyer, Daily Thompson. Decathlon, which might also be in there, I'm not sure. <laughs> there was a few. Uh, what we got next? Classic, beautiful artwork and all. Turrican, uh, another one of those games that I don't think there's ever been a bad, bad version of. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see the screenshots, they're teeny tiny. But yeah, Turrican's a great game. Got released on all sorts Amiga, SNES. Did it come out on the Mega Drive? I think it didn't, I think it's expensive. I don't think I have it. And I need it. <laughs> I need it! That's great artwork. Jumping Jack. Can't tell you anything about it. Again, no screenshots, unfortunately. I do, I do, I do like it when they put the screenshots on the back. You know what you're getting then. <laughs> My Gel's Revenge. Uh, I don't know what this is, but that looks like that looks like Tom Selleck with a gun there. 
looks like Magnum PI. <laughs> well, there are screenshots on this one. It looks like a spacey thing. I'll show you in case you can see. In case you're watching this on a, a computer or a tablet, in which case you'll be able to see. But if you're on your phone, you'll be squinting and it, it'll be just a blurry block. Another bit of great artwork from Quicksilver, and this is Arcade Action. Finally, it features speech. Can't be a bit of speech on the specky. <laughs> bit of wolf there, barbarian. Yeah. Wonder where he is now. And if he still looks like that. <laughs> Don't have a clue. Ah, Didums. Don't remember this one. Again, no artwork. Star Firebirds. Looks like uh, it looks like a shooter. That's about all I can say about that. Classic platformer, Hunchback. Everyone my age has played Hunchback. I think first time I ever played it was on one of those bar top tabletop arcade machines in a pub. Joe Blade 2, it's a, uh, it's a run and gun, run and gun is Joe Blade, uh, I think I watched Christian play it, I don't think I've ever played it, um, I think there's three, I think I have the first one, Wolfman, this looks like a 3D game. <laughs> Isometric game, of similar to uh, all those isometric games whose names I cannot think of right now because I've got a mental block. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why anybody watches this rubbish. Uh, anarchy. Anarchy. It looks a bit like a puzzler. Zub. Apparently, you won't zub me this time, you zubs. I don't, know, I don't know what that's about. Oh, I do have seen this before. Um, I think you have to work your way up the level. And uh, it's got a really nice death animation. You like all your body disintegrates. Yeah, I've seen somebody play this. Armageddon. We are getting to the end of the now nearly. There's no screenshots on any of these. These are proper old school specky games. Viper 3. Rescue. Please do put in the comment section if you remember any of these games and uh, if you enjoyed them back in the day. Ace. Which is uh, a plane simulator on the specky. It's like a fighter pilot game. Apparently, at last, you can really fly. I can't. I can't fly. Caves of Doom. I think I've played that one. These are all going to end up falling over. Blade Alley. I have played this. I think I covered this ages back. I'm sure. This is like a Star Wars ripoff. And finally, Zip Zap. Again, not a clue. Uh, doesn't even tell you. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out together. So they all came from Christian. I've got an empty box now. So thanks for them, Christian. Uh, and the empty box. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what else we got? Last couple of Specky games. I got a Specky homebrew game from uh, Chronosoft called Quadron. Uh, I've not had a chance to play it yet, but these are always great fun. So uh, I'll be playing that in the near future. And then finally, uh, this was uh, another £1.90 uh, posted. 
I couldn't be bothered. If somebody won something, I was putting on eBay for one pound ninety. Uh, I just, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't post it. <laughs> I'd just say I'd lost it. Uh, Rambo Hit Squad, um, which is a run and gun game similar to Commando, which is a run and gun game similar to Rambo. So they're all my specy pickups for this month. I've done rather well, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, very grateful. As I said, thank you very much to you and very thank you very much to Christian. Um, let's see what else I got. What should we go to next? We'll go to eBay. Uh, we, so we had Rastan on the ZX Spectrum earlier. Apparently, this is the best version of Rastan. Uh, this is on the Master System. It's all complete. I know Christian got this this week as well, but look, Christian, I've got the manual. <laughs> you took your chance with CEX and it didn't pay off. Because yours is missing. Mine's here. <laughs> That's cruel. Sorry. <laughs> um, CEX purchase. Uh, I went to CEX in Leeds. And I, lit I struggled to spend my money. I had a bit of credit. And they had a lot of crap. But I did manage to find Dead or Alive complete inbox. Dead or Alive. Which is a great beat em up. Great beat em up. As I said... Or complete, if you can see that with the manual. That was uh, something I've been after for ages. There we go. What next? Charity shop. Uh, I'm really chuffed with this. Uh, I think this was 199 in uh, one of the charity shops, and I nearly didn't pick it up because I didn't think it'd be anything special. And that's Earthworm Jim 2. So I saw this in a charity shop, and to be honest, I'm thinking two quid, it's a good box. Uh, and that's what it was intended to be. I was literally going to rip it out and keep the box. Because Earthworm Jim's a SNES game, so I'd just like to be a lazy port, and it probably worth a couple of quid. When I go home and check the prices, it turns out it's not. Um, but the prices seem to be all over. I think CEX are doing it for 40 odd. But then eBay seems to up 70 80 it's just it's really hard to decide what a good price is anymore um but two quid's definitely a good price so yeah really happy with that one and the next two are tooty's fault um i got a salt rigs mate it does need a new case um but i think this was it's all complete although the manual is a touch water damage I think this was six quid posted. Six quid posted, yeah. Um, I had this on demo back in the day. I'd forgotten all about it until you mentioned it. And then I had to have it. As I did with the next one, um, I think you had this one in the background of one of your videos. Viewpoint. Uh, this is a Neo, I'm sure this is on the Neo Geo originally. Um, until you mentioned it I didn't know it had been ported to the PS1 uh, it's one of those funny little boxes and all that nobody can ever find uh, it's all complete really nice condition um, yeah the guy wanted to put this in an envelope and I said to him I said look I'll pay extra if you box it up because uh, I knew if it came in an envelope I'd just get pieces uh, and you just can't find these cases anyway so he sent it in a box, and uh, and that's what I got. Minty. What's next? Charity shops. Charity shops. Grand Theft Auto for the PS3. This is the, uh, the add-on pack you originally could download. It's all complete. Charity shop you see. It's got the manuals and the map, and uh, and the disc. Um, I think I played these on the Xbox. I think uh, they were quite good fun, but I can't, I can't really remember because I've slept since then. Uh, the next pickup was original Xbox, which was Dead or Alive Ultimate. So we've got it on the PS1 and the Xbox. And this again is all complete, two disc. This and I think somebody mentioned this recently. You can flip the manual over. And once you flip the manual over, it's the other game. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember where I heard it. I really must start making notes. 
Again with the original Xbox, a game I've picked up about 10 times and every time I pick it up the uh, the manual's missing. But this time I actually managed to find it all complete with all sorts in here, all sorts. Lots of little Xbox bits. <laughs> yeah, all complete. Um, by Rare who did uh, the Donkey Kong games. I think this was one of the first they did on the Xbox when they jumped ship. ship. Uh, the next game is a game I thought I had and then realised I didn't. Uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of the legacy of Kane. Uh, I thought I had this game. And uh, when I did my uh, five favourite franchises, uh, somebody pointed out I'd not shown this. And it was because I didn't have it. <laughs> but I do now. And then we also picked up from Charity Shops Second Sight. Um, I remember playing this. I can't remember a lot about it. And then finally, a classic racer that it turned out I already had. So my original copy went to my good friend uh, Andre, and this version went on the shelf. Um, yeah, I can't walk past an original Xbox game in a charity shop. If it's complete, I have to pick it up. I've got quite a few now, so most of the time I pick it up and I've already got it. So, right. No, we're not. Now, last but not least, um, I don't know why I picked this up. I think it was 25 pence in CX. Uh, I didn't know there was a Captain Scarlet game. <laughs> I've already looked at graphics. And to be honest, if it were on PS1, it'd look poor. It's a, it's a blast game. I don't think they've got very good uh, track record. But uh, I just like the artwork and it's it's complete and it's 25p. What else can you spend 25p on? <laughs> yeah. So that's eBay and charity. Now let's get to me a pickup. Uh, I've just been to Mark's house. Mark, um, Capewell. Capewell? Yeah, Capewell. Uh, good friend. Good solid chap. Uh, he did have a full Dreamcast collection, but I've robbed out of it twice now, and uh, and he's not got so much left anymore. So um, yeah, let's go through all that. Um, he gave me some freebies. We've got three PS1 games that he gave me for the boxes. Although to be honest, I fancy that. <laughs> I think this could be a video. What we've got. Dance Stage Disney Mix, The Jungle Book Groove Party, <laughs> and Dance Stage Party Edition. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks for them. Never have too many PlayStation boxes. Uh, so from here on out, it's Sega. He, he also uh, picked up for me a Mega Drive game, which is Outrun 2019, and it's the first game. I've managed to get on the Mega Drive. Um, I keep trying to pick them up and missing out. It's all complete and in the box. So I need out one now. Yeah, I keep getting outbid. Right, uh, these are all complete. I'm not going to go through them all because if I do, we'll be here for weeks. And I'm sure you've either already switched off or you're running out of. Uh, Running out of summer, running out of steam. I am. It's so hot in here. Right. So we've got Virtua Tennis 2. Great series, Virtua Tennis. As I said, they're all complete, all heavy. I just, uh, I'm not going through all the boxes. And you can't have Virtua Tennis 2 without Virtua Tennis. There ain't no order these. No order. Yeah, I, I played this to death when I got the Dreamcast. Never played the sequel. It'd be interesting to see if there's any difference. Or it would be if I ever played them. <laughs> yeah. Never going to get to play half of this. Oh, dear. Nightmare Creatures 2. I'm sure I've played... I've either played this or I've had it on demo. Oh, I love that artwork. Yeah, that's a bit mean. <laughs> I 
Dragon Riders of Pern. I used to read these books as a kid. Uh, yeah, they were weird. You were, you were like, you're in the future, but it was in the past. And uh, we rolled round on these dragons and destroying the stuff that came from space that ate everything. Yeah, very, very strange books. Um, they must have been very popular because there were loads. I don't know what this is. Star Lancer. It looks like a space shooter. Space shooter. Yeah. Yeah, I like the artwork. Looks a bit like Babylon 5. Sequel to Power Stone, which I already have on the shelf, which probably also came from Mark. I think now a good 80% of my Dreamcast collections <laughs> come from Mark. Yeah. Uh, Project Justice Rival Schools 2, which is a beat em up. A series I've never played. Never played. Them screenshots are tiny. You'd think they'd do bigger shots to advertise the game more. But they don't. Space Channel 5. Love the artwork for that. I think this is uh, a rhythm game, as I remember. I could be wrong. I played this a lot on the uh, the original PlayStation V Rally. Great racer. Not as good as Colin McRae, bit bit more arcadey, but still really good game. A series I've never got round to playing, Echo the Dolphin. Uh, I think it started on the Mega Drive. I think, to be fair, it's there somewhere. But never played any of them at all. Just to be honest, I just like the artwork. Stupid Invaders. Yeah, this looks interesting. Yeah, I don't know what it's about, but uh, it looks looks nice like I like I, I, sometimes I buy games and it's just for the artwork I literally I like to take a look at like it to something and uh, have to have it everybody plays worms uh, worms Armageddon as I remember on the Dreamcast is a really good version uh, I think I've got worms for everything <laughs> yeah. I've got worms <laughs> don't know what this is I think it's an RPG which means it'll be right up my street I love a good RPG it looks like one anyway time stalkers classic film Evil Dead I'm not sure what the game's like but uh, I've got a chainsaw to a hand it's got to be good I've got a chainsaw for a hand even and the final two Aero Wings 2, which Mark says is really hard to get hold of. Not a particularly, excuse me, expensive one. Just just don't see it very often. And the final one is Res. Which, I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, and that doesn't tell me a lot can either. I don't know. I don't know, I just like the artwork, so I bought it. <laughs> I've got issues. Yeah. So there are my pickups for this month. Um, there won't be a pickup video for a while, because I'm spent up. <laughs> yeah. Mark is holding me some more games, probably a stack a bit higher than that, um, but I'll have to save up some pennies. Uh, huge thanks to Mark for these. A huge thanks to... Ewan, sorry mate, I'm terrible with names, for the hit squads, uh, you've, you've really, I'm really motoring on with the collection now, I'm sure I'll soon be in the same stage as, to, same state as you, down to the last five or ten and crying, <laughs> yeah, uh, huge thanks to Christian for the tapes, and uh, for Stuart for spending me money again, <laughs> yeah, I am going to put some on one of these screens that you desperately want, and it's going to hurt your pocket mate. <laughs> Yeah. So as ever, uh, for those who've managed to get this far, what are your memories of any of these games? Please do, do put in the comments section. Um, 
please help you one out if you can uh, thanks for watching check the channels out in the description bar a link there and and that's it thanks for watching catch you later bye bye